I think it's massively important. Obviously, we, we've had two weeks off, so hopefully the bodies and the minds have recovered. We've got something like this to get a spring on our step, and obviously the boys coming back from, from international should, should put us in the right sort of frame of mind, and, uh, and hopefully we'll hit the ground running. But, you know, it's fourth against fifth. We know where we want to be come the end of the season. Um, Wasser are a, a team that's in banging form at the moment. They've got some very dangerous players, and we're well aware of that. But you know, we we'll use the rest of the week to do our analysis and really break them down. Are the uh, the England boys coming back in today, looking to prove a point um, after last Saturday? I think some of them will, yeah. And obviously, you know, the, the quickest way to remedy all that hurt is to, to put in a massive performance and and you know focus the mind on something different. And for the lads coming back from England, it's it's all about Northampton now. And we were in one one last competition, and we need to make sure that that we give our ourselves every chance. The last uh, three games have all been wins, including a you know, good bonus point win over London Irish last time out. How much confidence do you take from that run into, into what is a tough game? Yeah, um, obviously you know, there was a lot of disappointing games for us throughout the season, um, not doing as well as we'd hoped in competitions. But now we're running a little bit of form together and, and like I say, we're a bit fresher than we have been in previous seasons with us only, only the Premiership left to play for. Um, and hopefully that'll you know, play a part and, it, and hopefully um, we'll see that on the field. Yeah, I mean, it's massive. We have to win that. Um, whilst they're in good form at the moment, so it's going to be, it'll be a tough task and I think the boys are focused. But, um, but yeah, we're going to need to be on form and, and I think if you know the training we did this, this week just gone and, and the training we're going to do this week, I think it'll put in the best stead for us. But um, but yeah, it's not going to be an easy task by any means. And Wasps themselves have, have unbeaten at home so far this season, but Saints have got a good record of beating those records. So is there, a, a, not overconfidence obviously, but how aware of you of that record they've got at home? Uh, if I'm honest, I didn't even know about it, but um, I'm just focusing on the next game each week, but this week, this one's Wasps. And, you know, I mean, you know, fair play to us, they're a good side and they obviously are strong at home, so we're going to need to be on our A game. But like you say, we have done it before, we have beaten them down there uh, the last couple of years. And um, But like you say, it's not going to be easy um, and, and we have to be on our top game. But but hopefully we can put in performance because we need to and, and this comes to the business end of the season now where we need to start putting in performances. Saints haven't been in this situation before in terms of having two weekends off in March. Is it an opportunity to rest up and refocus? Yeah, no, it's first for me as well. Um, with you know, unfortunately, been out the LV in the Heineken, but um, but yeah, no, I mean, it can only do us good. It gives our bodies a bit of a rest. We obviously uh, we had that week off where you know we had a bit of time just to sit back and relax, and then last week um, we we had a bit more of a physical training training with uh, rugby and fitness, and and it's sort of like a mini pre-season, but not quite as intense. And hopefully that's put us in good stead, got the air back in the lungs and and, and everything running around. And uh, so yeah, hopefully we're in, in good stead for this week, and uh, just have to hit the ground running tomorrow morning.